Tonight, the State Department and a U.S. Senator are monitoring a strange case in Mexico, where an Arizona mother of seven is behind bars because police there believe she's a drug smuggler. They say they found 12 pounds of marijuana under her bus seat during a routine checkpoint inspection. Her family says she was framed. ABC's Gio Benitez has the latest on what's happening behind the scenes. Tonight, this married mother of seven from Phoenix sits in a Mexican jail cell, branded a drug trafficker, her family insisting she's innocent. We think she was framed. Yanira Maldonado's nightmare began last Wednesday when she and her husband Gary boarded this bus in Los Mochis, Mexico, heading home to Phoenix from her aunt's funeral. But on the way, they were stopped at a checkpoint near Hermosillo, Mexico. Mexican soldiers boarded the bus, and that's when police say they found 12 pounds of marijuana strapped under Yanira Maldonado's seat. Yanira was arrested. Gary says he tried to bribe the judge with $5,000 that the soldiers told him that's how it works in Mexico. But today, this church-going Mormon mom was in court. I just don't have anger. I just feel like I need to get my wife out. Yanira spoke tonight with ABC affiliate KNXV from jail. They put my cop cuffs and my feet and in my hands, and it was horrible. Back in the neat Phoenix suburb where Yanira lives and works with troubled kids, her daughter is desperate. I want my mom home, please. I just want her home. What are her rights right now? She's in Mexico. She has no U.S. rights right now. And so the most that the U.S. can do is try to engage in diplomatic efforts to try to get her released or at least make sure that the conditions are acceptable. If convicted, Yanira could face up to 10 years in one of Mexico's notoriously overcrowded and violent prisons. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.